even if you weren't lucky enough to pull LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, this video still has tremendous value for you because one day, I'm telling you, one day you will pull this unit. And when you do, this video will be sitting here waiting for you. But regardless, here we are covering some of the best rotations and some of the best teams for LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I will mention I will be uploading a separate video for the gods a little bit later on today. I will not combine both in this video simply because it's going to end up being way too long of a video as you can see from all the tabs I have opened up here. So again, later on today, I will have a video on the gods. So please stay patient for that. And I do also have some other rotations and some other units you can use in case you don't have some of the other units I mentioned in this video. But keep in mind that since this is a best team you know, video, uh, you're going to need very specific units to pull off the type of power I'm going to be showing you today. Now, for today's really quick subscriber challenge before we hop into this video, because you know I need to catch at least three people lacking, comes from a place of salt in my heart, all right? If you, and be honest here, if you or someone you know personally, or maybe even online, but someone you know, pulled the LR gods or the yellow Super Saiyan 4s in their very first multi, you, yes you, got caught lacking today. You got to subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. It's not fair, okay? Why don't you save some of that luck for some other people who are going deep and not pulling these units? And you know who you are. Now, if you did not do that, you can skip today's subscriber challenge. I sympathize with you, but no, I will catch you lacking in the next one. Stay tuned for that. Let's hop straight into this video. So the very first team I want to discuss here for Super Saiyan 4s is going to prioritize Link. So basically, which units are going to link the best with LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and thus create a very cohesive team. So first, you're going to need your LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta um, as your obviously main unit. And then you want to link him up with LR AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku. These units are going to share a total of six links when you start adding up all of the links that they share man gt kamehameha it, it, it becomes a little bit too op this unit after the eza as well is going to look crazy so you can run them right now if you want but if you run them right now you are slightly you're, you're running slightly a gimped version because again this unit's EZA comes out in like the fourth part or like the EX part of the anniversary. But again, when this unit gets his EZA, things are going to become a little bit crazy when these two are on the same rotation. Sharing six links with one of literally the best unit on global right now is very, very, very dangerous. Especially when you're an anniversary LR who has a 200% leader skill buff. And on top of that is getting an easy A during the celebration. So keep that in mind. These two are going to work amazing together and they're going to share six out of seven links. Your next rotation, you want to have the friend LR Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta linked up with, I believe to be, str easy a super saiyan 4 goku again they will be sharing six links this guy was already impressive before the 200 buff but now he's getting an additional 60 percent to attack and defense so just imagine for a second his defense at 180 percent and then 210 percent basically because again remember super saiyan 4s are giving an extra 30 percent because he is on Kamehameha, and then the friend Super Saiyan 4s are giving him another 30%. So this unit is going to end up looking a lot, a lot better. Even more impressive than what he was a little, literally just yesterday before the banners dropped. So when you're rocking these two as run rotation, and then these two as another rotation, you're going to have, again, a ton of freaking power. Links are going to look absolutely beautiful. Please make sure you are link leveling these units as much as possible, okay? And then, in terms of the floating supports, you do have a few options here. So, first things first, as I already spoiled it a little bit, you know, a few seconds earlier, but you really want to run this Tech, Gohan, and Goten as a floating uh, supporter in that third slot because every unit here is on the GT heroes category so when you mix in a gt hero support for three key 40 percent attack and defense things are going to get very messy especially when again this unit gets its eza and you give support to unit who does not need the support this guy does not need support so when you give him an extra 40 percent to attack and defense things are going to get very disgusting very 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 fast so you need to have him on the team if you have him if you don't that's okay you can probably rock or get away with one of these two or maybe even both on the team as well um, because both of these units um, are not only really good in their own right i mean vegeta's they're both yeah they're both still really good i think um the thing is that they both create rainbow key spheres which is a like 
incredibly valuable ability to have, especially in the third slot, and especially when on rotation you have these two behemoths, which, by the way, get an additional super attack when their key is 20 or more. So they're creating rainbow orbs. These guys are creating rainbow orbs. You're going to be able to hit 20 key supers basically every single turn. Not only when you fat or also when you factor in the amazing link set that you are sharing from your partners as well. So additional supers coming out the wazoo here. You're going to be putting up large. They're going to look, dude, I'm telling you this team is made to look to have these units look as good as possible. So running these two, I think is a really good idea if you have them. And if not, for whatever reason, you definitely can run the free to play LR uh, STRB pan. Again, she's not going to be, you know, the craziest unit of all time in terms of support, but her active skill can come in really clutch in terms of giving you a little extra power to defeat the enemy. Um, you can also have a little bit of fun with that active skill, making look, or I guess you can say, making your Super Saiyan 4 Gojin look as good as possible. Uh, but you can also count on her incredible HP regen abilities and also her 55% damage reduction, which is, again, invaluable in the last... Uh, extremely valuable, yeah, in the last slot. So I think any one of these four units can make for really... Again, you only have seven units on the team. So you got to do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, or one, two, three, whatever you pick. You have to pick one of you have to pick three of these four units here. Um, but no matter who you pick, you're still in, you know creating a very strong team. And keep in mind that B Pan is not on the 200% leader. So is this Vegeta, and so is this Goten and, and Gohan. For whatever reason, they don't have Kamehameha. I don't I don't understand what is Gohan doing there. But anyways, uh, this Goku is on Kamehameha, so he does have access to the 200% leader. But unfortunately, uh, these three units don't. But again, it doesn't really matter because the load is being carried by these chads right here. So keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed that portion of it. Now, I want to talk about what is probably the best team in the game for the yellow super saiyan 4s not talking about link specifically but talking more about just having pure f a lot just tons of fun and just wreaking havoc across the entire game so in my opinion you can really get away with running yellow super saiyan 4 uh goku right as your main lead right alongside the lr blues if you have them if you do these two units are going to share four out of seven links but it doesn't matter they are the best units in the game they don't they don't need links okay these links are for extra power they don't need them they're still the best units in the game without their links they are going to be putting up a lot of freaking power especially when they are together so this is probably one of the better rotations in the game not because they link super well but because they are the best units in the game right now on a global dokkan so yeah keep that in mind um, but then on your second rotation, there's a lot of options because again, and now I'm prioritizing, you know, the fused fighters part of this guy's leader skill. You can, you can run away. So not run away. I mean, I guess you can run away too, but you can get away with running these two as a rotation. Keep in mind that these two before this easy for this guy, these two, once they fuse, share every single link. They are absolutely disgusting together. When you add the extra 60% to attack and defense from both leader skills for now the 200% leads, plus the EZA for this guy, this is going to be a truly devastating rotation. Um, so imagine having this rotation, and on top of that, imagine having this rotation as well. Things become very disgusting, again, very, very, very fast. And of course... On top of that, you do have AGL Gotenks here who does support time limit. And guess who's on time limit? A, B, C, D. All of these units share the time limit category. If you have AGL Gotenks, this unit became super valuable out of nowhere. Because now he supports literally some of the best units, some of the best Dokkan Fest in the game. If you have him, you need to slap him on this team immediately, especially, I mean, I was going to say you can slap him on the team over here, but again, it's like these units are GT heroes focused. So because of that, you know, this support ends up being a lot better than this unit. Uh, sorry, this unit, even though I will say um, that Super Saiyan 4 still have time limit, but I'd rather have a support on rotation that's actually going to support the whole rotation, not just one specific unit. So, yeah. But again, this unit is super valuable. If you have them, please put them on the Fuse Fighters version of this team. Now, as I already showed you before, I am not a fan of the five-year LRs, okay? Not at all. But 
I think we can all agree two things. One, these are still some of the most fun units to run in the game when they actually look good. Dude, I when these two are on rotation together, uh, there's something about like the like the way they link up, the way the super attacks, like these two, the animations are so beautiful. There's something really fun about running these two units on the same team, especially when they fuse. So running them on the same team now, I think is definitely a possibility, especially when you consider the fact that both of them are now buffed with the 200% leader skill. So you can get away again with running this rotation. And guess what? These two chads are also on the time limit category. So you have a lot, you have a lot of options here for the fuse fighter portion of this team. And then last but not least, I will say that uh, you can wait for LR Super, not LR, um, Int, sorry, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's EZA, and you can slap him on the team as well. He does, I think, share, what, five links? Um, let's see, do you have Shocking Speed? Yeah, you do. Uh, so no fuse fighter yet, but yeah, they share five links before this unit fuses. Um, and again, it's like there, this guy after EZ8 is very, very powerful. He can work very well alongside one of the other Super Saiyan force in case you don't have this guy or this guy or this guy or whatever the case may be. Right. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's a lot of rotations, a lot of potential, a lot of ways you can build this team, not just one specific way. And because of that, that's what I think makes this unit just so much better. Um, sometimes when it comes to these best team build videos, I only have one team ready to go on the screen, which makes it building the team a lot harder because not everyone can have every single unit I list. But I think if you've been playing this game for a while or if you summoned quite a bit, it's a good chance, you know, you walked away or you maybe you already have this guy or you already have this unit or maybe you already pulled this unit or maybe you have some of these units here or you grinded up a free to play LRB pan or maybe you walked away with this guy because he's on the banner or this guy or these two because they're also on the banner. So there's so many options here that you can still build anything you want and still have a very very strong team so keep that in mind hopefully you guys enjoyed this video the gods video is coming up next please make sure to get some rest stay safe stay blessed uh, spend time with family and i will see you in the next one take care super saiyan fours are the most beautiful looking thing in the game